What the hell is NASA hiding? A few days ago, at precisely 11 a.m. Central Time, the live feed from the International Space Station dissolved into darkness. One moment, the camera showed the familiar curve of Earth, a serene sweep of blue and white drifting beneath the station. The next, the transmission flickered, faltered, and then abruptly cut to NASA's technical slate, an all-too-familiar screen that appears whenever the agency cites a signal issue or equipment malfunction. Just before the blackout, something had glided past the lens, silent, smooth, unidentified. The timing was precise enough to stir déjà vu for those who had seen similar interruptions before. Crew audio continued in the background. At the work volume, we're going to have the UV lights running for decon, and we don't want you entering that work volume while it's still in work. Calm voices exchanging routine updates, adjusting configurations, reciting checklists. Absolutely. Nothing not in the astronaut's tone volume. acknowledged the object Excellent. that had just entered the frame. Excellent. Nothing suggested well alarm. Kind of Yet over. the split-second transition to, to a blank screen said more than any shoot. announcement could. It signaled a growing pattern that the public has learned to recognize, a rhythm of sudden me, cuts thanks. and unexplained silences that tends to surface right when the footage becomes interesting. Years ago, these interruptions were dismissed as technical glitches. Today, they carry a weight of accumulated suspicion. And now, into this climate of growing mistrust, a new anomaly has entered the solar system an object whose presence has magnified the public's questions about NASA's transparency. That object is 3I Atlas, the third known interstellar visitor to pass through our cosmic neighborhood. But unlike Oumuamua or Borisov, which sparked debate after astronomers noticed physical oddities, 3I Atlas drew scrutiny because NASA itself began acting strangely long before its most unusual features were known. When news of 3I Atlas first circulated, its arrival should have been a scientific celebration, a rare chance to study an object formed around another star. Instead, NASA's early reactions felt uncharacteristically guarded. Requests for high-resolution imagery were met with delays. Spectroscopic data arrived incomplete. When the object passed near Mars, an ideal vantage point for a close-up, NASA released only low-resolution frames, despite having instruments capable of capturing extraordinary detail. For a public accustomed to high-definition images of distant moons, the decision seemed perplexing. As the weeks passed, odd patterns emerged. NASA shifted the language used to describe the object, downplaying unusual observations, revising earlier statements, and offering explanations that felt strangely tentative. Researchers outside the agency noticed inconsistencies in the timing of released data. Amateur astronomers began comparing timestamps, orbits, and calibrations. Online communities dissected NASA's phrasing line by line. The behavior was subtle, but unmistakably cautious. And in the vacuum created by limited information, curiosity intensified. Only after this atmosphere of suspicion took shape, did independent astronomers begin to examine the object more closely, and what they found transformed 3I Atlas into a routine interstellar visitor into something profoundly unexpected. For most interstellar comets, irregularities are the exception. For 3I Atlas, they appeared to be the rule. The object's projected trajectory revealed a near-perfect alignment with Jupiter's Hill Sphere scheduled for March 2026, an encounter precise enough to strain the limits of coincidence. Its mass was estimated to be far larger than Oumuamua and dramatically greater than Borisov, yet it traveled at a speed that outpaced both. Observations captured a persistent sunward jet, a phenomenon exceedingly rare in cometary physics. In spectroscopy, its chemical signature displayed a startling abundance of nickel compared to iron, a ratio not seen in any known cometary object. Even its orientation was strange, a retrograde orbit, yet aligned within a few degrees of the ecliptic plane, the flat disk where most planets orbit. The probability of these traits appearing together shrank with each new measurement. Other anomalies followed. 
the arrival direction of 3i Atlas traced back to a region of the sky close to the origin of the famous 1977 WOW radio signal, a coincidence that reignited decades-old speculation about the existence of intelligent sources. Polarization patterns in the light reflected from the object were unlike any previously measured in cometary bodies, showing extreme negative polarization even where comets typically display positive values. And while most comets shed water vapor as they heat, early estimates suggested that 3i Atlas contained remarkably little water at all. As astronomers monitored its jets, they found that their tight collimation and stability persisted even as the object rotated, suggesting directional forces far more precise than typical sublimation patterns. Near perihelion, the object exhibited non-gravitational acceleration, behavior that in a natural comet would require massive, violent outgassing. Yet images indicated that 3i Atlas remained structurally intact. It did not break apart. It did not fragment. It simply continued on its path. Taken individually, each of these anomalies could be rationalized through exotic natural processes or unusual formation conditions in a distant star system. But taken together, they painted a picture of an object that did not behave like any previously cataloged comet. The statistical likelihood of all these features aligning within a single body strained credulity, prompting some researchers, most notably Harvard physicist Avi Loeb, to consider the possibility that 3i Atlas might not be a natural object at all. Loeb's analysis of the anomalies was not framed as a declaration, but as an invitation to investigate. Some aspects could suggest deliberate engineering. The finely tuned trajectory, the sustained acceleration, the unusual composition, the stability of its jets. These traits did not prove artificial origin, but they did make the hypothesis worthy of scientific consideration. And in Loeb's view, dismissing such possibilities outright simply because they challenged existing frameworks would be a disservice to scientific inquiry. NASA, however, maintained a firm stance that 3i Atlas was a comet, an odd one, perhaps, but a comet nonetheless. The agency's press conferences emphasized the diversity of interstellar material, suggesting that the anomalies fit within the broad range of cosmic variability. But the limited detail in those briefings, combined with the earlier reluctance to share high-resolution imagery, only deepened public skepticism. Why would the agency appear confident in its classification while withholding data that could reinforce that conclusion? Part of the erosion of trust stems from historical memory. NASA's past has been marked by moments when information was incomplete, curated, or lost. There's now clear evidence of NASA using numerous methods to grossly mislead the public about astronauts being on the International Space Station. During interior ISS scenes from NASA's own live feed, the use of wires, harnesses, green screens, and virtual reality have been detected to achieve the appearance of a weightless environment. Examples of this include astronauts fading in and out of the screen, green screen glitches, grabbing objects that aren't really there, pulling on invisible wires, getting tangled in their harnesses, and even astronauts appearing out of thin air. Missing Apollo telemetry, composite blue marble Earth images presented without explanation, evolving statements about the limits of human travel beyond low Earth orbit. The public's relationship with the agency is shaped not only by triumphs, but by these lingering inconsistencies. For many, the cautious behavior surrounding 3i Atlas fit too neatly into an old pattern, the sense that the full story was being held behind closed doors. As debates about the object's nature expanded, two broad interpretive frameworks emerged. The first adhered to conventional astrophysics. 3i Atlas could be a unique but natural product of a distant planetary system, sculpted by unfamiliar conditions or exotic chemical environments. The universe is vast, and with only three interstellar objects observed so far, the diversity of possibilities remains enormous. The second framework, more speculative but increasingly discussed, considered the object a potential artifact or derelict probe of artificial origin. In this view, the jets might be controlled outflows, the trajectory intentional, the composition engineered. Some imagined it as a long-dead vessel drifting from another civilization. Others saw it as a functioning probe executing a planned pass through our solar system.
The object's precise approach toward Jupiter's hill sphere, a region where gravitational dynamics could facilitate course adjustments, was cited as suggestive of navigational behavior. Between these interpretations lay NASA's silence, a silence that to many felt louder than any data release could be. The coming encounter in March 2026 looms as a pivotal moment. As 3I Atlas nears Jupiter, astronomers will observe how its motion responds to the planet's gravity. A natural object should follow predictable perturbations, its path bending according to well-understood orbital mechanics. But if its trajectory diverges in ways inconsistent with natural motion, the implications could be profound. Observatories worldwide are preparing for this moment, recognizing that the data collected may shape scientific discourse for decades. Beyond the technical debates, the arrival of 3I Atlas carries a deeper resonance. It represents the tension between what humanity is told and what humanity can directly observe. It captures the fragile balance between institutional authority and public scrutiny. And it symbolizes the broader question of our place in the universe, whether we are alone, whether others have passed through here before, and whether 3I Atlas is a messenger, an accident, or something in between. The mystery of the ISS feed, a silent object drifting by before the screen went dark, frames this larger uncertainty. In both cases, the story is shaped by not only what was seen, but by what was not shown, by the missing frames, the delayed images, the unexplained gaps. Humanity watches the skies with newfound vigilance, aware that the truth may not always arrive neatly packaged, fully explained, or promptly delivered. As 3i Atlas continues its journey, one thing is certain, the world is paying attention. The questions it raises will not be silenced by low-resolution images or cautious press releases. The object has become a mirror reflecting our hopes, fears, and the vast unknown that surrounds us. In that darkness, just beyond the reach of certainty, something is moving, silent, persistent, undeniable. And this time, the world is refusing to look away.